Okay, so it's getting dark, so I'm gonna hurry up. I got the car finished, I got it running. I'm gonna crank it up now. I have no exhaust on it still. I'm gonna have to take it to an exhaust shop to have that done. So, got it running into the computer right now. It's a nice old Dell I borrowed from my friend. I've got an adapter on the way so that I can plug my laptop in. Um, I think it should. I think it came in the mail today, but I do have a lot of playing around to do with the air fuel ratio, so I'm not revving it up too high. Not that I would rev it up high anyway, since it's a freshly built engine, brand new, no miles on it yet. And I just locked myself in the car. Okay. So when I was getting so close to getting it running. First, I had a fuel leak, um, leaking from the connection for the fuel hose onto the rail, the main fuel line. Then I had a water leak. Then I noticed I didn't plug my um, where the oil pressure sensor goes, which is here. So that was leaking oil. Now I was joking around with my friend. Oh wait, I was leaking air too because my uh, fuel rail wasn't bolted in all the way. So, I was joking around with my friend that it's leaking everything but power steering fluid, and then what do you know? It leaks power steering fluid right now. I think I have a bad bump, because it's um, pretty old. But, basically, I got my little lie inside there. That's very unfortunate. Here. Ripped a hole in the... Uh, Thing. My socket caught it. Just broke the thing off. That's my BSD with the light on it. The uh, variable switching valve it turns on the wastegate in the turbo. So when the light's on, I know my wastegate has uh, pressure. But yeah, got some little. I talked about this in the last video, but. Uh, Individual Jetta coils, 1.8T turbo from a 2,000 year model. This was like three bucks on eBay. It's some cheap little filter that looks cool because it's blue. I didn't want to buy the uh, little breather canister that they make for this uh, for this engine. This is new also. cable bracket. So I had it running earlier just to test and make sure I didn't I wasn't leaking any water. The water everything sealed up. Doesn't leak water, doesn't leak gas, doesn't leak oil. Just power steering fluid. So I was making sure it wouldn't get hot just sitting here at idle. Because I'm only running one fan. I had to take the other one out because my uh Intake pipe. My air, oh yeah, so these are my air intake pipes. That wasn't in the last video. So this side, I want to pull closer to the radiator because it touches the uh, the heat shield and the exhaust a little bit. I'm actually thinking about making a little enclosure for it, and then maybe running a pipe to here with a little tiny fan on it to suck cooler air out from this side over there to just immerse that little pipe in air. I don't know. Maybe that's too much work. Maybe I'll just leave it uh, maybe like this. But this is very exciting that it's actually running right now. It's doing what it's supposed to. I had a problem with my idle air control valve on this engine. I had it configured the way that three or four guys told me that I should configure this one. Um, but I've got it disabled because it was actually clicking on and off too fast. It wouldn't fully engage. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but it runs without it. Yeah, it's so loud right now because like I said, I don't have exhaust on it. As you get down here, no exhaust. Wheel 
of rolling. But it's been a long time coming, as they say. It's exciting that it's running now. So, anyway, that's uh, everything I can think of to put into this video. It was a pain to suck the gas out of the out of the gas tank, and why isn't my I must have bumped the power wire. I've just got it kind of clamped on top of the battery, so my gauge isn't. Nope, it's just way off. Um, yeah. So, I do have a lot of playing around to do with the air fuel ratio. I'm not sure why my gauge is reading. It's actually reading really high, and it's not showing the display. But on the computer, it's showing. It's actually kind of low. 13, 1322, 24, 26, 28 to 1. So, I definitely have a lot of playing around to do with the air fuel ratio. Um, yeah. And right now, I've got this gauge, the output signal wire coming out of that and going into the, uh, the car's computer. But I might wire in my regular, just a narrow band. Um, air fuel ratio, um, O2 sensor. So that way I can just wire that straight into the computer. I know that's new. This uh, this is like five years old. This uh, this gauge and this sensor. So I'm not sure why it's reading one thing and it's showing another on the computer. But, but yeah, the car's not overheating, and it's just sitting, there's no, well, it has a fan stuck on. Um, yeah, I want to figure out how to get another fan, because I took one fan off, as I showed, pointed out, but this is exciting, and uh, yeah, be driving it around in no time.